Well, hello there, math lovers. <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, try and introduce an exponential form so that we can point out some of the fun things about the complex representations, because I think that that's actually some of the better stuff that's been done this way so far. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, typically, when people think about uh, e and e to the x as a function, um, they don't think about it like this. But uh, this is how I'm going to represent it. It could be a little bit confusing if you're not distinguishing between zeros and sort of uh, loops. So uh, maybe some ambiguity there. <coughs> um, but then, you know, if you have that, you need to define a natural log of x as well. And so that's a loop with a tick. You know, if that gives you uh, some kind of uh, situation like this where... Uh, you know, lin of e to the x or e to of lin to the x uh, get you back to x just because they're functional inverses. Um, depending on you know, how you interpret emptiness, if you interpret it as, as zero, then uh, you know this would be kind of a representation for one, which is excessively confusing and weird. And uh, similarly, this is, gives you a way to represent negative infinity, but. Um, I think one way this could be useful beyond complex numbers, although it gets to that point, is through the, the Lambert W function. And that's, uh, I, I can, I'll say more of that at some point, but it, it, you know, briefly, it's the inverse of the uh, function x e times e to the x. So uh, Lambert W of x times e to, to the Lambert W of x gets you back to x. Um, and this is valid over the whole complex plane. Really interesting uh, function. It comes up in all sorts of engineering solutions to real practical problems. And uh, even in a special functions class, you may not uh, even really talk about it very much. <clears throat> you may pull it out to solve something. Uh, but um, that has uh, or, or W of 1 is what's known as... Uh, the omega constant, this is a really ugly omega, but pretend this is an omega, <coughs> and uh, given this definition, right, where you know, if you have a negation sign inside your exponent, that's sort of like e to the negative x, <coughs> this uh, omega constant can be defined recursively as uh, omega, or sorry, e to the minus omega equals omega. So you can think of it as telescoping. Uh, infinitely, um, <clears throat> and uh, that, you know, that's, uh, you know, we normally represent it like this, or like this, and this is part of the problem when you think about exponents and powers and power towers, which is really what this h function is, right, um, uh, these re representations become a little bit awkward, and it's difficult to address components in the tower at, at different levels beyond sort of the base levels we tend to work at. <clears throat> um, part of this is a typographical issue, I think, um, but part of it's just a holdover from how we do things. Anyway, um, this convergence of power towers, if you're thinking about these kind of uh, recursive stacks, um, <clears throat> so uh, the, the uh, domain over which this has some value on the real line <clears throat> It's given by e to the minus e to e to the 1 over e, which you can represent using the forms like that, kind of nice and succinct. Here are what your outputs are. So obviously an infinite tower of 1s gets you back to 1. Uh, similarly, an infinite tower of root 2s gets you to 2, right? So there are a couple of different fun values in here, <coughs> which give you... Um, results with uh, simple representations, but I think that this band probably extends out into the complex plane as well, and maybe over to negative numbers, something that people haven't really talked much about. <clears throat> anyway, this is just, so remember, e to the x, funny, confusing loop thing that's contradictory.